In this particular session, we will continue with our next scenario from the Diva Beta application that was Insecure Data Storage Part 4. So let's get started. So again, I'm using my Android emulator on my right hand side and I'm using my Kali Linux with the ZX running on my left hand side. So let's go with our next scenario that was Insecure Data Storage Part 4. And again, the objective here was same. We need to figure out where the inputs are being stored. So let's add some values first. I'll add username and I'll add password. Now just go with the save here and we can see we got an error file error occurred. Let's figure out why we get this error first and then we will check where the data was stored. I'll later explain why we got the error. So first of all, let's go with the source code here. So again, we go with the same methods. Just go with your manifest file to figure out where was the actual source code for this activity was stored. So just figure out the activity name here and the source code was located in your insecure data storage for activity. So just follow the path here, jakarasimdiva and just go with the activity name here as insecure data storage for activity. So inside this particular activity, we can see we got a simple class declaration. We got the onCreate method and after the onCreate method, we got our save credentials method that has been called with your view elements. So here again, we declare two different variables here for the edit text part. The first one was your USR, which will collect input from this user input field at the top here, where my name was written Siddharth here. And the second variable was PWD, probably for the password or for the next input field, where we enter our password here, this particular password. Now, after this variable declaration, we got the try block and here we simply define an object from our file class. The object name was uinfo here and we simply define a new file here and the environment was get external storage. It means this time we will simply store our inputs in your external storage directories. And we got the absolute part. It means we are specifying like where we have to store the file and the absolute or the exact path was slash dot uinfo dot txt this was the exact path and the exact file name where our inputs will be stored we simply define the permissions for this uinfo and the permissions were set readable and set writable as true after that part we define one more object with the name fw for the file writer class so we can add our content inside that file. With this uinfo, we will simply create a file. With this fw, we will simply add the content inside that file. So we simply use the write method to collect the input from this user input field and from the password input field and then store them inside our file. And the file name will be .uinfo.txt which will be located inside our external storage and the complete path was slash dot uinfo dot txt we simply close the file writer here and toast a message as third party credentials saved successfully so now let's figure out why we got this error we got this error because of the permission part my application diva beta don't have the permission to access the external storage to give it a check just go with this application go with the application information and on the information part go with the permissions and here you can see we ask for the storage but no permission was granted but we need the storage permission so just allow the permission and then just go with the save button and you can see third party credentials saved successfully now to fetch the content just go with your cmd go with the same adb shell to access the cli and just go with cd slash mnt why I'm going into MNT folder because the file will be stored inside our external storage and all the files and you can say all the storage media always get mounted inside our MNT folder. If you want, you can directly go into the shortcut or the link part SD card. Just go with LS hyphen AL and here you can see we got one more shortcut link here and the actual file was located into slash storage slash self slash primary and the storage folder itself is stored inside your MNT folder. 
right? So just now it's simple CD SD card, and then if you see LS hyphen L here, we got the basic folders that were also available here. If you just go with the Amaze, then you can see here that we got basic files, alarm, Android, DC, IM, downloads, movies, music, and other different folders as well. Same folders we got here. But if you see the code carefully, we get a dot before the file name. Or in Linux, whenever a file name starts with a dot, it means the file was hidden. And to see the hidden file, we need to add the command ls a for all the files and l for the listing pattern and just enter. When we list all the files, including hidden files, you can see we got our dot uinfo.txt file which contain our username and password. So to see the content, go with the cat command dot uinfo.txt and hit enter. And here you can see we got our data here. Now the actual weakness here was again the same plain text data storage. You don't have to store your data in form of plain text or one more thing. You don't have to store this kind of sensitive username and password inside your external storage because all other applications can also access your external storage. And just because all other applications can also access the external storage, they can also modify and they can also delete that external storage. So the point is this particular .uinfo file is not limited, is not secure because all other applications can modify or delete this file easily because they have the permissions. So generally this kind of sensitive files were stored inside the application folder like into your slash data and slash data folder then go with the simple package name that was your fourth scenario for your data storage have a good day and stay connected